so after a long and uneventful safe journey to Kilimanjaro International Airport, I finally made it. Now, let's see if they let me in. Jumbo, everyone. I am live from the Arusha Regional Airport in the middle of August, and as you can see, I'm the only person here. Um, inside, there's nobody else from any other air charter company. Um, it's peak season. It's totally bizarre and surreal, but also at this time, this is probably never, you know, knock on wood, this will never happen again. And um, it's quite a cool experience. Um, so, um, anyway, I, I am on this plane by myself. I had to play, pay for two seats because I'm the only one there. And that basically means I got a private charter to the Serengeti, which is quite cool. But yeah, as you can see, all the planes are ready to go. Just nobody's here. So in any event, I'll see you guys in a few days and uh, Safari and Gemma. So I lied in the last video. Actually, I didn't mean to lie. We actually had a family come in from Dar es Salaam on our flight. So um, we, that's why I have this grand caravan here and not just something smaller just for me. But um, yeah, for the local market, they're traveling here. Uh, they just disinfected the airplane. We made a quick stop in Kogatende to drop them off to where they're going. And now, um, and we're actually waiting for another person. So as soon as this safari vehicle comes up, we're gonna pick up and fly five minutes to Lamai across the river. So more to come. All right, so we landed at the Lamai airstrip in not even 10 minutes or so on the way to camp. The Great Migration, and guess, check, check this out. There is not a soul in sight. Say hi to everyone, Sam. Um, What's cracking? <laughs> More to come later. Did you know that baby hyenas are born with a full set of teeth? And you know what? I didn't know that either. And one of the cool things about coming on safari in the middle of the Serengeti is you get to learn this stuff. But, and guess what? You get a specialist guide that knows all this stuff. Say hi, Sam. Hi. Sam told me he knows this stuff. By the way, here's a cute little baby hyena den with the great migration of wildebeest and zebra in the background. Come to Tanzania. We're sitting right here at the Kenya border and we've got this gorgeous lighting in the background of topi and zebra and heart of beast and all sorts of stuff going on. So um, beautiful, beautiful mountains or hills. Couldn't ask for more. They're going to get to a point uh, to the side of a, the river, one of the crossing points, and they're going to build up enough momentum, kind of like a, a, a big bottleneck. You can see them over here. They're running. And um, yeah, we're going to go wait and see if one of them goes across first and the rest follow. Very exciting. 
adrenaline pumping, and uh, yeah, this is awesome. So there, we're up here at crossing point three, we just got here, and you can see, I'm trying to, yeah, there you go. So they're all kind of building up and building up and building up, and it's just gonna be, you know, hopefully they build up to a point where they just brave and go, and they all go, thousands at a time, so. Will they cross? Let's find out. So this is one of the wildest things I've ever experienced. This is a crossing at, what crossing point is this? Crossing point three. And this is just, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is like so absurdly cool. And on the other side of the river, there's usually like 30 vehicles, not a single one. I'm super thankful for this moment and thrilled that we were able to pull this off. Unbelievable. this time, this is the right time to see the migration. Absolutely, yes. I just kind of have these feelings sometimes that people might think I'm making shit up. There are wildebeest friggin' everywhere you turn, and I don't know, maybe I've seen a million? I have no idea. I just. It's gotta be experienced. My photos, this video, it doesn't do it justice. It's um, when you see the endless wildebeest out here, it's completely insane. Wow. So what we have behind me, just a few wildebeest, what we anticipate to be 4,000, and they're all gathering up to cross, crossing number three, from the north side to the south side, over the Mara River, from the Lamai Wedge into the greater Kogatende area. So I'm gonna spin this camera around and so you can see the magnitude of these guys. And we're on our way to where we think, to the point where we know that they're gonna cross. So we hope you enjoy the journey with us. What's going on? So the herd we were following yesterday didn't end up crossing. It got a little bit stubborn and decided not to brave the crocodile infested waters of the Mara River. We're on our way to crossing point number two the following morning, the day after, and um, they look like they're getting a little bit antsy and they're pantsy and uh, wanna shake their sillies out and cross the river. So fingers crossed, no pun intended. Uh, we're on our way to see what's going on. So it's my fourth night here in the Lamai Wedge in the extreme northern part of Serengeti National Park and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous evening. It's one of my favorite places on earth to be honest now and I'm so glad that I was able to slow down, take it easy and I still have another night left here but it's just the rains and the, the sunset are just stunningly gorgeous. It's quiet and 
I just wanted to show you guys. As you can see, there are no shortage of wildebeest here as always. So um, again, uh, we'll have more to come. We'll have one last day and then one final morning game drive and then I'm out of here sadly. Hey, what's up everybody? It's day five. It's my last day here in the Serengeti. It's very, very bittersweet, but I'm telling you what, like look at this breakfast spot. This is insane. Right behind me is the Mara River, and it's super busy, it's rushing today. Uh, common theme for this trip, obviously if you haven't picked up on it yet, there are no vehicles around here, it's just me. So it's, uh, it's really, really special. And as you can see, we're setting up here on our rock copy breakfast spot. And check this out. Super happy and grateful to be here during this time. So, good evening. Catch you later. We got more to come. Everybody. It's a very, very special final morning game drive here in the Serengeti on my way to the airstrip. And guess what? We just ran into a cheetah. Not sure if it's a male or a female, but the lighting's perfect. Everything's working out. And there's this really, really cool Swahili expression called Mbuga Imecheka, which literally means the bush is laughing. And just before this, we saw this awesome sighting of a hyena on a kill chasing away some vultures. I'll throw some pictures up that I got of it and including some pictures of this awesome, awesome cheetah. And this is a really, really special place. Um, I'm gonna wrap things up here in the Serengeti by saying that Tanzania is safe, it's open, and I've been treated with kindness and it's just unfathomable, this opportunity. Nobody else is out here and it's a once in a lifetime experience. So. Uh, come now, uh, come later, come whenever you can, and um, it's, just, it's just beyond spectacular. Couldn't ask for more. As you can see here, Miss Fantastic Paws has been nice enough to allow us to come a little bit closer and check her out. She's enjoying a nice little, uh, how shall we say, sun shower this morning as she's waiting for a mate. We think that there's a male nearby and she's been marking her territory to kind of make sure that everyone knows that she's here. Maybe she's lonely, maybe she's bored, maybe she's hungry, maybe she wants a little gazelle. Who knows? We'll continue to follow Miss Fantastic Paws along her journey throughout this part of the Serengeti. Maybe we'll have some luck, maybe we'll have a kill, maybe we'll have a stretch or a yawn, possibly a fart. We'll have to see. Hope you enjoy. Super bittersweet. On my way to board the plane, I've had probably one of the best times of my life, not gonna lie. And can't wait to get back, already planning the next one. Um, hope everybody's doing well, and thanks for being a part of this journey. It's mental.